Hi guys, let P is an integer such that 9P square minus 56 is a perfect square. Find all the values of P. So here, let's write down what is given to us. That is 9P square minus 56 is a perfect square. So perfect square can be like, let it be Q square. And Q is an integer. So here we have, let's bring it this side. 9p square minus q square is equal to 56. So this can be written as 3p the whole square minus q square is equal to 56. Now if you see there is difference of squares. So let's write down that's 3p plus q times 3p minus q is equal to 56. Now as p and q are integers, so 3p plus q is also an integer, 3p minus q is also an integer. Let's find the factors of 56. So we have 1 times 56, 2 times 28 because this is product of two integers. So we are finding out the product of two integers. 4 times 14, 7 times 8 and negative ones as well. Minus 1 times minus 56, minus 2 times minus 28, minus 4 times minus 14, and minus 7 times minus 8. Now, as we know, let's take the sum of the roots. That is 3p plus q plus 3p minus q is equal to 6p. p plus 3p, 6p. q, q cancelled, so you get 6p. So it should be a multiple of 6. Let's check. 56 plus 157 is not a multiple of 6. 28 plus 2 is 30. 30 is a multiple of 6. Yes. 4 plus 14, 18 is a multiple of 6. 7 plus 8, 15 is not a multiple of 6 negative 1 negative 56 so that is negative 57 not a multiple of 6 negative 2 negative 28 that is negative 30 that's a multiple of 6 negative 18 that's a multiple of 6 negative 7 negative 8 so that's negative 15 and that's not a multiple of 6 so from here what do we get 3p plus q plus 3p minus q is equal to if I have p bring it this way. it's divided by 6 so divide the product of two integers by 6 you will get the value of p so here from this one 2 plus 28 is 30. 30 divided by 6 is 5. So the value of P is 5. From here, 14 plus 4 is 18. 18 divided by 6 is 3. Now from here, minus 2 plus minus 28. That's minus 30 divided by 6. So P is equal to negative 5. And here, negative 4 plus negative 14. That is negative 18 divided by 6. So P is equal to negative 3. So you have got four values of P. In the question, it was asked to find all the values of P. So P is equal to plus or minus 5, comma plus or minus 3. And that's your answer. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.